Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back to some Victoria 2. It is 1867, January 25th, in the Mexican Empire. We are number four in the Great Powers. Uh, there is actually the Crimean War going on right now. I got the Russians against, oh my god, Germany and France and Egypt. <laughs> wow. Russia. Oh no. Oh, what are you doing, bro? You're going to have to fight the North German Federation. Come on, I can't wait to do that in my series. There's a very weird little tiny Bukhara here. It's very strange. But we are in a really, really good position. I'd like to try and get a little bit higher in the Great Power Tract at some point. Um, France is the next one ahead of me and is ahead by about 90 points. But the main reason for that is their massive military and their industrialization. We have built factories in all of our most populous states. But the thing is, is that we just simply don't have enough education. Ooh, Liberacion's actually making a lot. Holy shit, how much steel do we make? My god. Wait, which one's Liberacion? Oh dear. Can't be that many people here, surely. Always about making sure we have the right number of pops here, but damn, okay. It's fine, we'll just let the capitalists kind of build factories as needed here. Mexican Hispanolia definitely have a little bit too much steel, to be honest. Making a lot of glass. Why are we making so much glass? But over flooding the market. Stop it. I'm going to stop subsidizing steel. Actually, I'm going to keep steel. Why not? A little bit of furniture getting made. All right, it's not too bad. Yeah, Russians can lose that war, that's for sure. We're working on nationalism and imperialism and building forts and at naval bases, and still encouraging intellectuals as well as a little bit of soldiers. When will America want to beat me up again? So not for five years. That's pretty bloody good. I mean, we literally only just won. So we want to think about getting more soldiers, and we also very much want to get more army tax when we can. At the moment we have nine, and they've got 14. <laughs> Christ. Um... Another thing we really need, though, is biologism. So we're going to get nationalism, imperialism. We're then going to get biologism. Problem is we really need analytic philosophy. Analytic philosophy is, frankly, insane. It's 100% research points. Plus, there is vitamins to get. And a surprising amount of, of prestige. Keep subsidizing. Yes, but I don't want to subsidize factories that are going to devalue the overall price of the good. Presumably, I'm making a good amount of explosives. There is an odd quantity of, um... Actually, when can I do a reform? For a while. Okay. We're doing really well, though, and I think in terms of migration, we're making a lot. 2,000... Oh, yeah, we're making more than America. We're doing really well in that context. No furniture factory getting built there. The main thing I think we're going to be looking for is to try and grab um, this from the Kingdom of France. Annoyingly, they are allied to Belgium and Austria-Hungary. But this is doable, I think. Hidor is weirdly alive. We also might consider trying to get some of these little nations uh, to get some rubber. Though we do have Brazil in our sphere. Which is always nice. Let's take a look at the decisions we have available. Obviously we have Annex Hawaii. But if we want to get the Philippines, we will need to go back to reactionaryism. And that is fantastically cool to do. It is also 12 infamy. Machine guns and military districts, indeed. Yeah, I really need to think about getting machine guns once that time comes. Which is going to be there. And also, military logistics. Woo! I mean, it's flat organization, but to be honest, machine guns is really what we need. Uh, Venezuela wants to be my buddy. They are actually in my sphere. I can't... Do I have things that can allow me to move south? I told you Nukta. This gives us... Hmm. What do we get here? Now we seized it, we rightful clay in the Nutka territory. 
We must strive to again regain the run going to the Spaniards. Gain core Fort Vancouver. Middle is 5% mobilization size. Oh, fair enough. Oh, Yakima and North Cascades. Isn't that up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all this. Oh, okay. It's just like... A bit lame. And Colombia, the Mexican Empire, will get a core. Excuse me? Over there? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. And we also have Tenochtitlan. We do need to have electricity. Modernizing as well, once we've got military logistics and machine guns, also does give us some very nice little bonuses. And forced education is also what we really want to do, so we want to save up money for this. Um, and that will get us 25% education efficiency. Ooh, the Royal Agrarian Reform. Have Red Counter Rev and Social Science at 500k. And... Basically just gets massive assimilation rate and immigration attraction. Holy shit, that's amazing. Geology, equality, biologism. Autonomy in Central American states. No. Uh, same as Canada, yeah. Uh, the elections are underway. I will ally Venezuela. So we want to be saving up as much money as we can here. Want to get the spending down to that. Taxes are coming up. Because I'd very much like to try and get to 500k as quickly as we can, please. Tariffs are nice and high. We're encouraging intellectuals to 4%. There's mill hospitals, very good. I can imagine that we're going to end up with a bit of a liberal, liberal ideology, but that's okay. Religious policy. Uh, we want moralism, please. What would the Iberian Union decision do? What's up, Mike? How you doing, buddy? So it's a dumb, it's a fantasy nation, but basically it allows you to um, unite with Iberia. And it's actually a Spanish decision. It's meant to be for Spain or Portugal, but for some reason, as a Mexican, I can do it as well. Uh, oh, it's Burma. Oh, I thought that was against me. Thank goodness. I don't have Burma in my thing, do I? No, I don't. Some really nice resources in Burma, too, eventually. Hey, what's up, Zylo? How's it going, buddy? I very much would like to try and get this because of the sheer quantity of money that is available. Iron production. That's the good stuff. Iron is our big empty bear right now. And we also want to be thinking about eventual colonization. Once it is time. In terms of iron, we are still shy of quite a bit of it, but in the common market, hmm, there's only 76. We're okay right now. Planned economy. Hey, I, I don't want to be in support of planned economy. And there's the political campaign. What do I want? Oh, the socialists. Oh dear. Currently, we are on this one because they have the limited citizenship. The conservative one is probably going to be better, but I would generally try to prefer to be the reactionary. There is also the Socialist Party, though it does actually have planned economy. You're going to need to have 7 mil and 4 con. Oh boy. That's a good idea to form it. Yeah, it's just a bit crazy. I have kind of a mix of factories. I need to go back to reactionary once I have my 500k and start to make, uh, start to fix the factories soon. Um, I mean, planned economy is just a bit of a meme, isn't it? It's just a bit of a meme. I mean... Plans <sighs> economy is 5% factory... Let's look at the bonuses. Plans economy is 5% factory throughput, which is 5% more input, so you process to 5% more output. So, factory throughput is 50%, and RGO throughput is 50%. Wait, what? Ah, but the import cost is 96% increase. Oh, I have, a, I have a bee sting on my... I always try to remember which one's the right one to go for here. I, uh, that means I can't micromanage. Uh, uh, I don't know. I actually don't know which one I want to try and go for. I guess I should probably try and go for plant economy at some point. 
Pretty good, pretty good thesis. Awesome, buddy. I've been good. I've been very busy with all the myriad little things I have doing right now. I think, uh, basically just like brewing. I've been doing some brewing recently. These also have full citizenship. Ah, but they're anti-military, which is a big problem. I'm going to go conservative. No, reactionary. Probably the right move to do here. What is our... Oh, we're super state. Upper house is pretty high. We actually have some socialists and liberals, so soon we can start to get a little... And we're already ac acceptable in trinket healthcare. That's actually pretty good. Rebels are driven off in Spain. Do I only need to have sphered Spain, or do I have to have puppeted them? Be able to get... Nah, I have to have puppeted them. That'd be funny as heck. Yeah, state capital, pretty much best. I mean, in terms of the actual difference... Surge of socialism. Uh, minimum tax, ba 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 Main thing is the tax. Import cost plus 50%, and we can do whatever the hell we like. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Factory owner, 80. Oh, factory owner cost. Factory owner cost. What does that actually mean? I'm going to look it up. I'm literally Googling it right now. I really struggle with some of the terminology in this game, and I find myself not understanding what that concept means. Um, import cost is also higher. But factory throughput and RGO throughput is insanely good. What the f Need to upgrade their weapons. Yeah. So we are a conservative and reactionary party. Uh, which is oddly the same party that just won. That's cool. I like it because of the assimilation rate, though unfortunately we are pro-military. So I'm going to switch soon. Yeah, we're chill. That was a clear victory. Watch me get an absolutely garbage, dude. Getting so much pop. A place in the sun. Ooh, an event. What an event. Lose mill unconscious, but get 24 prestige. That's beautiful. Okay. Still chilling. Wait until we get that 500, sweet, sweet 500k. And honestly, another thing we're going to need is a lot of ships, both in the east and the west. And this is a problem because we actually don't have naval tech. Where are the different ships? We also need to be thinking about naval base. They do need to think about that. Um, so there we go. We can now do forced education. Because we're going to be fighting in the Philippines. And there are going to be at least some ships. There's Luengo. Oh yeah. Again, save up a little bit more money so we don't go broke. All right, there we go. Forced education. We need our people to be smart to prevent falling behind our like technological backwater. Perhaps they will learn how to use new machines. Although some may not like the history lessons the way we tell them. So, we are going to lose a lot of money, but 25% education efficiency is really good. Here we go. How much money do we lose? Oh, we only lost 150. Pretty good. Let's go to our most populous. This guy right here. 0.15. That is not bad. Child labor restrictor is a bit of a problem, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. Also, there's Liberia. Liberia, but... Great. I like contesting. Uh, we can do another reform. I checked my movement list. I wish I hadn't. A movements list. Oh, God. Yeah, don't do that. Never. Just ignore it. Yankee, I have Yankee Patriots. In terms of movements for me, my biggest is minimum wage is in voting rights. Yeah. And I'm already on gerrymandering, but... And I'm already at Universal, too. What do I actually want? Anyone actually want anything? So this one is something people do want. And it would get me 1% more. Perhaps non-socialist... No, it's going to piss everybody off if I do that. I, th I suppose... 
I suppose if we go to non-secret ballads, it's not too bad. A little bit more reforms, a little bit more immigration attraction. My literacy rate should start to skyrocket. Debtor's prison. As the 90s had dawned, a practice of jailing people to fall on their debts was still the norm. Debtor's prisons, including London's fleet prison, to effectively pay for their jailers. Oftentimes, this practice only served to further complicate the debt's financial situations, as it, as it, for natural reasons, had to earn money from inside a prison wall. It was gradually abandoned. A wrongly jailed Mexican aristocrat is now drawing public attention to these institutions, calling for their abolishment. So this would move us away from debtor's prison to bankruptcy. I mean, yes. Because it's admin tariff efficiency. Oh, it's just Guatemala. Not that helpful. That really is not that helpful. I think we should also consider getting... Wow, I'm still really rich. Holy crap. Let's get the education budget all the way. It's... Getting some forts in this area as well is going to be smart. Okay, so we're rich as heck. We're doing really well. We just got to keep ticking. Keep ticking along. Oh, it looks like there was a piece. Oh, it's just been discrediting. Yeah, it looks like they uh, they lost that one. Although, no, the United Principalities broke away. And there's the Tokugawa victory. Woo, there's Japan. Here it is. Here we go, here we go. Alright, nationalism and imperialism is almost here. I think I can now lower taxes a little bit. And lower tariffs. I'm pretty rich. And how many people are actually building factories right now? We 2,200 capitalists. Oh my god. We'll just let them build whatever the hell they like and I'll, I'll, I'll change things. I'll just let the capitalists build a crap ton of factories everywhere. Right, that's fantastic. We have another year now. And the other thing we really need is biologism. We also don't have inorganic chemistry, but to be honest, I don't really need the pop growth for that. Hey, Leander, thank you much for joining me. I'm glad you're enjoying it, buddy. I'm really tempted to get this. How long does it take? Because there's some really good bonuses here. All right, that's fine. We'll do that. Uh, we can now get a couple bonuses and decisions. Value the kings. Excavation rights. Granted. Oh, flat prestige. Let's go. And this one gives us cores in the north. And for some reason, Colombia as well. I don't I don't really know why, why that's the case. I'm gonna... I guess I could do that. I mean, does Britain like me at the slightest? They don't. They freaking hate me. Are my allies actually? Italy and Brazil. Wow, thanks. Wow, where'd I be without you? Thanks a lot. You guys suck. Yeah, screw Britain. Okay. Now we see the land up to the border of Brits and Yanks. We reclaim our rightful clay. Under the loose administration, the Spaniards give to the Brits via several treaties. We we'll strive to regain it. Biogen is such a must. Yeah, we need it. The low literacy is killing me. Colombia is in Western Canada. Okay. Well, in the next episode, we're going to figure out exactly where we are in terms of this and figure out what we're getting. Figure out where what Colombia is. I think it would be in Western Canada, but we'll find out. I was Al Drong and to be, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.